Greetings, everyone, and great here for another Asian Powers 2 Defend Edition replay. So on the south side, as the red Magyars, we have Jez Mosun. Jez Mosun. On the north side, as the blue Celts, we have Pepe El Flor. Yeah, El Purplo. Pulpero. 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 I have no idea. Let's go and cover each player's civilization bonuses. The Magyars. Villagers kill wolves in one strike. Forge, cast iron, blaster of furnace is free, so he gets free melee attack. Scout, light cavalry, huzzars cost 50% uh, less, so cheaper uh, light cavalry. Unique unit, the Magyar Huzzar. Unique technologies, the Corvin army, Magyars become a trash unit. Of course, they still require a castle, but of course, generally inherently better than huzzars. And Recurve Bow. Cavalry Archers get plus wooden attack and plus wooden range, which actually is quite good. Both Red Scout does go down, but does take a villager out with him. And the team bonuses. Foot Archers get plus two line of sight. For his opponent, the Celts, they are an infantry civilization. They are infantry and siege civilization. Infantry moves 15% faster starting feudal age. Lumberjacks work 50% faster. Siege weapons fire 25% faster. Can steal sheep more easily, which is not really that useful, honestly. And sheep within one uh, units, one Celts units line of sight cannot be stolen. New text. Oh, we got a uh, militia right there as my game sort of had a hit by a couple of lag spikes. You got militia deployed off of both sides. There's three red militia versus Market. two blue militia. Unique units of the World Raiders, a fast infantry unit. Unique uh, tech, stronghold. Uh, castles and towers fire through even faster and can heal in a small race around them. Looks like he does bring the villagers off the line to help support his militia, trying to deal with the red militia. Red militia has the same bit of damage there. It does get the high ground damage there. And no one's died just yet, pretty close to. And now we do got the plus one attack, uh, or that's the feudal age for blue. Red gets the free melee attacks there, so if he would have got Fetal Age earlier, he could have got a, a bit of a time attack for a free melee buff. Only one militia member remains. Gains some great damage from that scout. Militia does four damage, so it can take up a scout one hit. The scout does five damage, can take the militia out on one hit. So it's all depend who gets the first strike. But the village can perhaps just shank him. Uh, Fuhrer Keltada, Siege Workshop units get plus 40% health, and Siege Workshops work 20% faster. Scout's going to be scouting around, that, that was just, he just got ordered over there, we'll spot the wood line. <coughs> <coughs> My apologies, it's damn cold. Get a nice drink into me to help, uh, wet my throat. The militia is still in the region. If we get some scouting off here, maybe able to uh, club some of these villagers. But once he clubs a villager, yep, shank. Yeah. Zebra's not being claimed. A uh, long distance away. Oh. He is actually collecting Zebra without uh, hurting and without a uh, mill nearby. What is going on? Lion gains some good damage there. The archer does severely wounded, and this skirmisher does roll miss there. This skirmisher does see some hits by the scout. The scout is one shot away from death, though it does have two pierce armor. But skirmishers, I believe, does do bonus damage to scouts. Small amount, but I think it'll be enough to kill it. Scouts, what? Or the Magyars? They don't have any hunting bonuses there, so why is he gathering uh, zebra away from the town center, or at least not without a mill? This is so weird to me. Skirmisher should roll some misses there onto that scout. <clears throat> Am I missing something right here? And oh, blue kills off that zebra. He saw his opponent collecting the zebra, so him killing off the zebra with his uh, archers was a really, really smart play. He read the situation and did something really smart. I can say, well done by Blue. I'm still wondering why Red was like that uh, in the was in that situation to begin with.
You now have Blacksmith Lowdown out for red. He may be eyeing for Fletching, or not just yet. And Scout does actually pick up that wounded uh, Skirmisher there, and this Skirmisher does manage to throw a spear into that Scout. Very, very nice. Blue doesn't have a whole lot of archers in this region. Now he's on face forward with four archers, one scout. Gains some good hits there onto the skirmisher, preventing him from throwing the spears. But you've got a good sizable defense force here. Four skirmishers and two archers. That one archer that was running away, or skirmisher that was running away, does go down. Now there's another archer being pulled on out. Red does have a decent defense force here. We will deal with uh, blue's archers, no problem. Blue's archers do not have fletching just yet. Red's currently just going for villagers. Let's see what Blue's going for. He's going for fletching now, as well as more archers. No villager on the build queue. But right now, Red does have advantage with his villagers. Villager number. And Blue does have a large number of scouts in this region as well. Scouts trying to collapse on in on these skirmishers. And maybe we'll find some damage there on these uh, villagers. Try to destroy that uh, farmhouse being built. Well, it's unsuccessful, but good try. And we've got these uh, villagers now receiving some archer fire. So now one of red villagers do go down. We've got two of red spearmen advancing forward trying to deal with these scouts and uh, archers. One archer does go down as well. Does get another volley there, but rolls a pretty big miss there. Does take on another archer. Skirmisher's trying to... Or, the uh, scout trying to push with forward once it back on in. Received quite a bit of damage there. The scouts are also wounded. He may find a volley there. Does he got the last archer? Skirmishers just need to split up in order to avoid uh, being within the minimum range of these uh, scouts. Right now, Blue's just going for more villagers and uh, archers. Red is currently going for more archers and villagers. Does roll a miss there. All of these scouts are very wounded. <coughs> and he's going to start building a market there, which also congests the region, allowing the uh, spears to be able to perhaps engage these scouts a bit more easier. This entire region is walled off, so the scouts cannot escape through there. The only way they can escape is through the mill. But be careful, he may get milled and turn that horse into glue. The scouts push away down south, trying to gain engagement down here. A couple of these villagers are currently idle. Spearmen trying to find an engagement on these scouts. But right now, he's just, just boat scouting around. Doesn't find a hit there, doesn't receive a hit there. Oh, and now they got left behind and two of them immediately goes down. One scout remains. All scouts going down. Too busy microing this force here. Archer fans forward does get a number of villagers down. Archer goes down as well. More blues archers are being wiped out. And blue backs out of the game now, unable to handle the counterattack. It's Adam Gray saying thank for watching and on to the next replay.